Oh my God, man, I found something new. This is crazy. Now I've seen stuff like this before, but I never thought I'd get it in a million years. But look, this is a uh, Dakot Aquarium sponge filter, y'all. I've been using a uh, sponge filter that got the hard base that set the bottom of the tank, but this one right here, it's gonna clean the water and skirt water back in the tank and everything, man. This is crazy. So it's two models. It's the model uh, that you get uh, without the pump and it's the uh, model that you get with the pump. We got the one with the pump because you already know what it is. So I got this for the baby piranhas, man. So as y'all know, y'all seen my last couple of videos, I know the uh, juvenile just had babies. So I had to get something better. The sponge filters weren't really doing it all like that, but this like, let me show y'all what's the difference and why I like this better, man. Okay, let's pick everything out the bag. And another thing about this, man, everything is already set up. So you don't have to do no work. There is no user's menu or none of that. You don't need it. It's set up already. I wish I'd have been found this thing, man. Let me show y'all real quick. All right, that's, that, that's, that's it. No no menu or nothing. Like, it's so, like, self-explanatory. Like, you don't need nothing for it, man. It's crazy. So, look. This isn't right here. This is the sponge, I mean, the sponge filter right here. It come with the pump. If you if you didn't have a pump, like, I guess two models. Without the pump and with the pump. If you had the model without the pump, you have to have a, uh, a, a air tube line. So, you have to have, a, like, a little small pump. Like, a little pump that's set on the ground or something like that. And pump uh, air into the uh, tube right here on top. And then you have to run it like that. But since we got the model with the uh, the motor and the uh, pump on it right here, we don't need that. That's what's crazy about this thing, man. So look, there's two outlets, two different outlets to skirt the water back in the tank. Is this one right here? Let me take it off, y'all. Is this one right here? And you can take this this little tube right here off, and you can put it on here too. But they gave us two, so we gonna pick this one back in here. It's two tubes, so they hooked this up for real. So we got this one right here. Go put that in there. You gonna put this one in here. So look, you put it at the top right here, just like this. Pushing this little uh, tube right there. And that's how I skirt the water out right there. You got this one right here too. You can go with that one right there. That's kind of one I always use, but this one cool too. I don't know, I might go with this one because this splash water like a little bit everywhere. I'm gonna set this thing up and let y'all see it too to see how both tubes work and how I skirt the water out. But we got this, uh, the session cups on the back, we got these things look, they, they powerful, man. They look big. This thing is nice for real, man. I like this, man. I'm definitely gonna let y'all see me uh, use the uh, this pump with the uh, baby piranhas, man. Nice, like, probably a week or two when the uh, adults or the juveniles have babies again. But you got uh, four session cups, man. They stick it on the back of the glass, man. But this thing come with two extra sponges, man. Can't beat this thing for real. So we got two right here. This is where they go. The sponges go in here, like, it's a hole at the bottom and it's like solid at the top. So you know how to put it on, right? There's no way you can put it on wrong. So they gave us two and two extra. So that's how that go. And then this is another part I want to show y'all. So they gave us some bio, man. You got bio. This is why I like this one better than I like the uh, the regular sponge filter because it come with bio. So it's going to keep the tank super clean from the bio and the sponge itself. You know what I'm saying? So you take these off. Oh, this thing turned, so I didn't even know that. So you take, you're going to take both of them off. You just... Like pull them, do a little twist and pull off. You go take both of them off right now. And then normally I would clean the bio first. And before I do like, before I put any of this stuff in my tank, I rinse it off first. That's just something I do and I rather for y'all to do it too. But you know what I'm saying? Rinse these out, but we ain't gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do it before I put it inside the tank though. So this is the bio. Let's take the bio out. Let me see. My scissors out. I got some scissors right here. Let's cut this open real quick. There you go. See what kind of bio is there. It's like little small pellets, man. They're like pink with a little red on them. So this is the bio right here. Let me bring it in closer. I can see it. So what we gonna do? We gonna turn these up sideways. I mean up up ways like that. Let's put that back in there. It came up. Put that up up ways like that. We gonna put the bio in here. But try to do it evenly on both sides. We gonna have the same oh, oh, oh. amount in both. Uh, Sides. So let's see. All right, that's full. Pull this one up. Look like you might. No, we might have extra. I can say, look, you may have a little extra. Oh, they gave us just the right amount. So that's cool. All right, so we got the bio in both sides, man. And then that's where you come put these on. Like you just push it on. You can give it a little twist if you want to, but I think you just like push it on. There you go. You just push it on. You don't have to twist it. Okay. That's how that go, and then you just put this on just like that. It's a super, super easy setup, man. This is like the super easy setup I did with like some type of 
like filter period. That's why I think it's so cool, man. That's why I like it. So this is how I go, y'all. Just like that. And the one we go, I'm gonna use this one first since it came like this with this uh, outlet, <clears throat> outlet right here. So you go put that up top. So let me explain it to y'all for a second. So it's gonna suck the water up and whatever else in the uh, tank, suck it up through these two sponges right here. And this will go down through the bio, and then it's gonna go back up uh, and go through the uh, pump and skirt back into the tank. Both of them work the exact same way, but we're gonna try this one first and then we're gonna try this one. But I see y'all in my tank. All right, y'all, I got this thing set up and ready to go. So let's put this thing in the water and then plug it up and see how good this thing works. Let's put it in the water. Yeah, keep the uh, top part, the top uh, part out for it to shoot the water back into the tank. So let's plug it up. And then I'm gonna take you off my tripod that I have y'all on. We'll go up close and personal and see how good this thing works. So I'm plugging it up now. And instantly it jumps straight on. So let's take you off the tripod real quick. Take you all off my tripod and go over there and take a look at this thing. So there it is. Got this thing plugged up on my wall right there. And it's running pretty good. I like it. So that's how deep it's in the water. You see the water is uh, coming. Uh, it's coming uh, through the filters, one on that side, one on that side, through the bio on both sides, and it's coming straight up and it's shooting it out. And you can turn this, you push this to the side. That's probably how I have it, just something like that. Turn this to the side that way, turn it to the side that way, or however you want. I probably keep it in the middle so it's hitting the middle of the tank and sending waves both ways. But this the uh, model with the uh, pump, y'all. And the model without the pump, you have to put an air hose on it right here with an air pump. So this the model with the pump. This the model without the pump. So now we got that going. Y'all see how this goes. Let's take this out. I wonder what did it do? Shoot straight up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Shoot straight up like that without the uh, outtake on there. So let's try this one out. I ain't going to unplug it or nothing. Ooh. So, yeah, that thing comes straight on. So, hold up. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to uh, stop for a second and set this back up right. I can't do it one hand. All right, y'all. I was trying to be slick and try to do it with it still running. I ain't stop it. I just had to use both hands, get my hands a little wet. So, that's cool. This one ain't that bad either, man. Like, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like this one a little bit more, for real, for real. I ain't going to lie. Like, this one cool. Both cool. I just like I just like the idea of it splashing out like that. You know what I'm saying? It seems like it's more, but it's probably just the same as this though. But this cool, so you can probably do it like that. I ain't never really messed with nothing like this before, man. It's just different for me, man. I like it though. The main thing I like about this I ain't had to set nothing up or read nothing or nothing. I just set it straight up. You never had it set up for me, man. That's cool, man. I like this thing, man. So this will be what y'all be seeing in my uh future videos with my babies around us and stuff like that. Like, I like this, man. Like, this is better than, like, a lot of filters to me. Like, you don't have to do nothing. And when they get dirty, you just take the... Look, you just take the freaking filter off. Take it to your sink, rinse it out, and put it back in there, man. Like, I wish I knew about this a little while ago, man. It's crazy. I'm not really shocked for real, like, how good it's performing, though. And it's super simple and easy. Like, it's it's, not, it's nothing to watch for real. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Where's, I don't have that filter over here in this room right now. I'm going to show you the filter that I'll be using right now, man, for my small tanks. That's such as, uh, it's a 20 gallon. Notice a 10 gallon. 20 gallon, 20, 20, 20, 20 gallon, 10 gallons. That's a 20 gallon right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a uh, 30 gallon loan. My, my small tanks, you know what I'm saying? This would be perfect for them. Wish I knew about this before, man. But I like it, man. I get I give it 10 thumbs up, man. Hope y'all like my review, man. But peace out. It's your boy Piranha here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.